Okay, so we're talking Chuck Berry today, and we're looking really at supplying a certain amount of rhythm and double notes to the, the lick to make it kind of rock and roll Chuck Berry vibe, okay? So first of all, let's just get ourselves in the picture. We're in B flat blues, okay? So we're combining our B minor pentatonic shape one and our B flat major pentatonic shape two, allowing us to kind of kind of double stop all over the place because it kind of covers quite a lot of notes when you actually combine those two. So we start by sliding into the back of this. So this is six and six, okay? And I'm sliding from five. And then I'm gonna grab my little finger, and this bit can be quite tricky. I'm gonna just hit the, uh, the B string, ninth fret, but leave the sixth fret under the first finger, okay? Then I'm gonna bring down to the, the uh, eighth fret, and then back to the double. So make sure you're always hearing the doubles there. I don't want this. I want this. Okay. And then at that point, I actually gonna double the sixes on the G and the B string. Hammer on to the seven. Okay, on the G, on the G string and then hit the root note, creating the kind of B-flat major chord. Okay, nice and rhythmical. If you keep the chord on at the end, bonus. Okay, then we're gonna go into this. Now this is subtly hard, okay, and I'll tell you why, because with these bends, so I'm in the B-flat minor, shape one, so I'm on the eighth fret, and I'm gonna bend up a full tone, but it's gonna be a very quick bend, and it's gonna stop very quickly as well. Not this, not this, this. <laughs> it's like, it goes up super quick, so you hear almost none of the bend. And then you grab the uh, double sixes again, so that's just gonna hit the B and the A, uh, E string. and you do it three times. Very static sound, that's really important. And then you're gonna hit the eight and eight on the G and the B string. Six and six hammering on the seven, that major third. And then the root note. So that second half is this. So all together, <laughs> and there we are, we're off on our rock and roll journey. So that's the lick, okay? And a couple of little points to, to mention, just to get that Chuck Berry sound really nice and clear, is one, I would do the whole thing downstrokes, that aggressive rock and roll. All downstrokes, just like you would do if you were going. Because realistically, you don't want to break that rhythm. So that you keep the downstrokes, keep it aggressive and keep it within that style, okay? And always, as often as you can, take any of your licks and double them up. So if you've got a lick that goes like this. Go like this. And you've got a rock and roll loop from nothing. And that's just literally just kind of flattening the fingers, doubling things up, trying sounds, and you'll have that kind of Chuck Berry vibe, okay? It's very, very rhythmical, keeping on the beat all the time, or, or sorry, not necessarily on the beat, but keeping with a beat. Don't be going off a beat. With those kind of things, keeping on a... You can hear I'm, I'm on a one, two, three, four kind of sound. And that's absolutely crucial. So, best of luck with that, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.